What's going on guys? We are here with another installment of Stock versus Not. And as you can see from the top, we are still working in the Toyota dealership. This time we are in the 2016 86 GT quote limited and quote. What does that mean? This is the facelifted model uh, compared to the last one we just uh, drove. Let's go ahead and take a look at that one. That was in the 400s, no, 500s, I think, stock. Where is it at? Here it is. Yep, so the stock one actually has a little bit more performance points at 400, or less, I'm sorry, 444.47, 448.27 is what this current one has. And as a quick overview of the stats, we do get a power increase up to 203 horsepower uh, in this model. So we should be hopefully seeing a increase or decrease in the stock lap time as always we are going to be doing three laps in the stock car and then we'll hop into the fully modified one and see what we can do with that i'm very interested interested to see how this video goes um, once you see what the fully modified one looks like you will understand that it may not be totally true to the leaderboard after um, as you can see, we have a little bit of an upgraded interior. Definitely got a new gauge cluster, which is pretty cool to see. And I'm honestly not expecting this to drive too much differently than the literally previous year. Um, this thing drive, drove phenomenally as a stock car, and I don't think they really changed much when it came to this car the year after other than you know the looks and a little bit more power which more power is always good for an underpowered car so it must have been nice for those owners to get something that made over 200 horsepower out of a flat four as you can see at the bottom this car does come with comfort socks again a little bit weird being a sports car you would think that it would come with uh, at least sports hearts like the focus st and focus rs but that's just how the game has it set up. Uh, first lap 104, which I think actually is on par with the last one. I, I literally just said it like two seconds ago, and you'd think I'd remember what I said, but I have issues apparently. So there's that. Uh, definitely went a little bit too deep there. Let's see if we can clean up the, the S's here a little bit. I'm actually getting a little better with these in-cockpit views. Um, figured it's a lot more pleasant to watch other than just the regular bumper cam. And uh, definitely gives you a little bit more of a sim feeling, I guess, when you do it, or a true sim. Let's see if we can bust out something clean for this last lap. Now we're a little bit slower this lap, so Let's see what we can do on this last lap here. Optimal, we're at a 103, so I do believe we beat the stock car, but we do not use the optimal times as our um, benchmarks. We do whatever our fastest raw time is. Because if we used optimals, it would be like using packs, and we all know that packs is not real. It's not a cross joke. Yeah, really not too different from the last one. Uh, drives nicely. If you lose it, very easy to catch as you can see there. Or I can totally botch it up like that. Alright, let's just wrap up this lap. We'll hop into the next one. And the, not next one, the next one the modified version of this car and see what we can do. There we go. Takeovers. Yeah. Swing it. I'm, I'm an idiot. Okay. Alright. So 103.915 is the optimal. 104.234 is our best. Let's just take a quick peek at the previous year, see where this falls with that. 
Uh, it is faster by a tenth. So that's good to know. That is very good to know that the newer car that is faster on paper is faster on track. Let's hop into the fully modified one and your eyes do not deceive you. We have a 1100 horsepower GT86 that is now supercharged and has been transplanted with a LT5 V8, supercharged V8 from the C7 Corvette. Um, I'm going to let you guys know this is this may not be a good lap. This car was a handful during my test. I tried to dial down the suspension and the differentials into something that could be manageable, but this car is just... It's rowdy. It is very rowdy. So let's just go ahead, hop in. RIP headphone users, this thing is loud. And it is a monster to drive. Now let me just prove it to you guys real quick. We are going to hit almost 200 miles an hour. If not, we will. We will hit it. We have to brake extremely early to allow the brakes to slow this little go-kart down. Yeah, this thing was... This took me a little bit longer to get set up than usual. I tried, I was like, oh, let me just use the same setup that I had for the other 86. But didn't take into account that, oh, this thing has 800 more horsepower than what the stock one has. If I can beat the top modified record with this car, that would be ideal. Because technically, I believe this is the fastest car so far. But you have to drive this thing with the utmost respect and caution, or it will humble you very quickly. Thankfully, it still has the handling characteristics of the regular 86. You just have to take into consideration that your turns and braking points are coming at you a lot sooner than it did in the stock form, or even in the fully modified version of the last year's model that we did. But I think I'll be able to get some decent laps in our typical three lap format. I may not need that fourth lap, and to be honest with you, I don't know if I'll be able to be that clean. This thing is just... it's a monster. Uh, definitely, if you can get the gearing set up, this will be a special stage Route X um, killer for those types of lobbies when people just want to just do high speed runs. We're just knocking down that delta. Look at that. Oh, there, there it is. That's what I'm saying. You gotta have full attention when you're driving this thing. As soon as you, you know, ease up on anything or just lose any sort of concentration, you are, it's gonna bite you. All right, you know what? Never mind. We're gonna go ahead and do a fourth lap, I think. Nope, we're not. We're not gonna do a fourth lap. <laughs> we're just gonna call it. Let's, let's just get over the line. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's, yeah, that, that is rowdy. That is a rowdy car. 51.131 would have been the optimal. Our best was a 51.581. And yeah, this thing... V8 swaps and these are typical. But um, let's see where we landed on the ranking board with this. Uh, 51, I believe, is what it was. Yeah, so 51 puts us above the Focus ST and just below the Mustang GT. Uh, for the fully modified versions. Maybe with a little bit more practice, I could probably get this car down to that Jaguar time, but I mean, the Jaguar made 755 horsepower, but it was a controllable 755. Uh, this thing is just, it's nuts. Um, I don't think, have you had anything else faster so far? Okay, the GT350R was 1400 horsepower. So yeah, maybe if I were to tweak this thing a little bit more and get some, uh, 
you know, some more practice and I could probably knock out a better lap time. But uh, 51's respectable so far, so uh, I can live with that. So anyways, that is the video for today. Um, as always, like, subscribe, let me know how I'm doing, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.